so let's start from the beginning. Explain to us how the bike lanes, proposed bike lanes on Cresswell and on Ockley will work. Well, let's, let's start from the beginning. One of the things that Mayor Tyler um, was tasked with when she was running for office was to improve the infrastructure for the city and create a better environment for traffic, pedestrian traffic, including bicycles. And so uh, when we came into office, one of the things that we found was the NL COG study that was developed by the city and the parish and concerned citizens some years ago, and it was collecting dust. And one of the things the mayor tasked us with was find a way to get some bike paths and some more friendly bicycle and pedestrian traffic ways within the city, doing it within the confines of the budget, which is always a challenge for us. And so the idea was spawned that we would try and, as we did 150, a little less than 150 new street improvements around the city, at about $45 million, was there a way to incorporate bike pass and the bike plan into that? So, so pardon me. So here's 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 my question. Sure. Um, sort of a two-parter. Why were the neighborhoods, the areas chosen, why were they chosen, and what are they specifically? And B, is this really anything more than painting new stripes on the road? Well, the neighborhoods were chosen, one, because they were already part of the street improvements plan where we were already spending money to overlay the streets. Um, they were wide enough to facilitate um, a bike lane or a share row, um, which is a shared roadway between a bicycle and an automobile. And um, essentially the second part of your question is exactly right. It, some, in some cases it is just painting and signage, and that's one thing that made it very attractive to us in this particular area. In this particular area of Highland, South Highland, um, some of them I guess would consider Broadmoor, very active bicycle community there, and, and it also ties in with bringing uh, pedestrian uh, bicycle traffic downtown uh, to that corridor as well, connecting with bus routes at the new intermodal facility that's going to be on, on Murphy Street. So that, that's why they were selected. Tell us where, which roads were. I know Ockley's one. What else is, has been selected? Well, I can tell you the, the initial plan that we had that we put out to the public, and we had our first public meeting in February, we had Centenary Boulevard with bike paths going north and south. We had Ockley Drive, which would have had... How far on Ockley and where from? You're, you're looking at from uh, Line Avenue to Gilbert, that very sh short stretch that runs from about Betty Virginia Park, goes in front of First Baptist Church, and then to Fern Avenue. Okay. Fairfield was also in the original proposal, and so was Gilbert, and taking Gilbert down from a four-lane, which nobody uses it as a four-lane because it's really too narrow for that, to a two-lane, and then putting north and south bike paths in there. And so that was the original recommendation. And, and then based on the community feedback from the February meeting, online, emails, phone calls, we came back, had a second community meeting last night, very positive, lots of folks there, uh, neighborhood residents, bicycle enthusiasts, and the like. And we came up with this plan, and that is um, Bike Lane, which is a dedicated bike path on Gilbert. One will go north, one will go southbound from Stoner Avenue, to Ockley Drive. Two, we'll have share roads. That's a shared road between a bicycle and a motor vehicle, and it reinforces the legitimacy of bicycle traffic. That will be on Cresswell Avenue from Stoner to Ockley, and on Ockley Drive from Gilbert to Line Avenue, both um, on Cresswell north and south lanes and on Ockley, the east and westbound lanes as well. Brian, explain to me, and, and in my mind I get this, but if you're taking space away from automobiles, trucks, et cetera. No, you're not taking space. They share it. How does let, this... Let, let me remind you, let me remind you what the law is. The bicyclists have as much right to any roadway other than a freeway by law as a motor vehicle. But there have to be studies that show that this makes things safer for bicyclists, that's, yes? That's exactly right. Well, if you drive some of those roads, and if you drive, you can drive roads in MLK or Ellerby Road or Highland, bicyclists are already on the roadway. And so we're trying to create a better, safer route and plan all around for those individuals and motor vehicles to share the experience share the road, know what the rules are, and giving the bicycles their three-foot berth and giving them dedicated bike paths like you're going to see on Gilbert. This is just the first step in what will be an intricate uh, plan to connect uh, 
all parts of the city with bike routes in the future. Well, what will be the next step? Will we have more public meetings? Where are we going now? When do we start painting? Yeah, well, let me. Well, that's the good thing. The streets are already, the streets that have been designated: Gilbert, Cresswell, Ockley, um, and, and it's worth mentioning Centenary Avenue and Fairfield were eliminated from consideration at this time based on the public feedback and just said that at this time they, they weren't necessary. They'll, they'll, they'll be talked about in the, in, the, in, the, in the next phase. But, but good question. One of the things that the mayor, uh, Mayor Tyler, is doing is she's forming a, a, a task force. And so we got a, a names last night from individuals and from the first meeting who were interested in, and, and were part of the – some of them were actually part of the, the original NL COG study in, okay, where do we go from here? And so it's obvious that we want to go into other neighborhoods. And again, going back to what I said before, we want to connect the inner city with those uh, bike paths as well so people can ride their bike from a neighborhood, get downtown, possibly go to the new intermodal facility at Texas and Murphy Street, catch a bus, put their bike on the front of the bus, and have an easier access and transportation in all corridors of the city. But if I'm driving down Ockley Drive and there's a bicyclist in front of me, that's right. He's got the right of way anytime. He's got the right of way, and you're you're going to see significant striping on the road on Ockley Drive and Cresswell that that reminds you, as well as signage that'll be on the side of the road that reminds you that bicyclist can be on the road anyway. And if they're on the road anyway, they do have that right. But having a share row, it gives that legitimacy for the bicycle traffic. It reminds bicyclists to be in proper position and also those but photos. just as an addendum as a caveat when erin's sure. going down ockley in her stolen walmart scooter <laughs> <laughs> she really has to have taillights and an inspection sticker right? and a horn you yeah, might want to exactly. you might want to give her six feet on each side <laughs> and so, ryan well, there like went said, your, Chris, I, you there know, went your christmas yeah. present yeah. your christmas presents over brian that was the best answer we could have ever had thank yeah. you much well. thank you much as always appreciate the time